You can now get a 30-day trial to experience The Athletic for free. Visit the link in the description below to try it now. Hello there and welcome to Why Should I Care About with me, Joe Devine, and my friend Alex Stewart. Hi, Alex. Hi, Joe. Give the camera a wave there, Alex. Now, Alex is here today to explain to me why I should care about something that I don't care about. I don't, I probably don't care about it. And he has seven minutes to do that. Now, what is it today that you're going to try and ram down my throat, you evangelist? Uh, Louis Van Hull's Netherlands side. Oh. Okay, yeah. that could work. Yeah. Hey, there's an addition to the show now. You know, we did it last week as well. But uh, you know all about this. If you're doing well, big green light. Bit blinding on you, isn't it? If you're doing badly, it's a red light, oh, gosh. you know, and it's going to make it harder for you to do your job as well. But we'll sit here on this neutral little sea blue for now. OK. Um, and you can crack on uh, telling me about Louis van Gaal's The Netherlands. Yeah. Starting in three, two, one, The Netherlands. OK, Louis van Gaal is an interesting guy, right? True. He was That's manager true. of... Probably my favourite club side ever. Man United? No, Ajax in the 94, oh, 95 yeah. season. You remember we did that lovely tactics video. Sure. Um, he's won four Eredivisie titles, three with Ajax, one with RZ Alkmaar in 2008-9. Mm. Impressive one, Quite that one. Quite weird. Yes, yeah. that was particularly impressive. Sure. Uh, he won the Champions League with Ajax as well. Uh, he's been a runner-up a couple of other times. Uh, he took the Dutch national team to third place in the 2014 World Cup. And do you know what? I like that World Cup so much that I'm putting us on green, because that was a fun one. It was a fun one. Mm. Interestingly, in that World Cup, he went to a back five system, because if you remember, they lost Kevin <laughs> Stroop. <Stroutman laughs> so green. Hold on, let me just take it off the green for a second. Yeah, you okay. carry on there. Uh, yeah, so they lost Kevin Strokeman to injury, and, and uh, they mm. had to adapt their tactics. And he Do you remember the... when Kevin Strokeman was going to be like the next big thing? Yeah. But then he got those two... Two really bad injuries. Yeah, yeah, were they Achilles injuries or something? Yes. He was he, linked with Manchester United so many times, I remember that. Yeah, and then he, and I think he ended up at Roma he after did, yeah. that. He and did, yeah. kind of didn't really develop in quite the same way, but... Also, that World Cup, the opening, was it the opening game where uh, the Netherlands played Spain? Mm -hmm. And Van Persie did the incredible diving uh, swan header. It was lovely. Yeah, oh. yeah. That was amazing, I remember that. Yeah. Anyway, you've okay. got five minutes and 31 seconds. Great. Um, so Van Hull obviously is, you know, he's managed the Netherlands before, he's coming back into this mm. job as a real character in Dutch football. Mm. There's an interesting thing, he, it feels like he lives a little bit in Cruyff's shadow. Cruyff was famously a direct guy, he said things like, you know, if I wanted you to understand it better, I would have explained it better. And Van Hull's got this very acerbic personality in press conferences sure. that comes through from that. So he'll say things like, uh, you know, am I really smart or are you really stupid? He challenges reporters. And mm. it's worth reading Karl Anker's piece uh, on Van Hull managing Telstar's reserves in a charity game in The Athletic. It's a lovely bit. Um, other things Van Hull has said, I have achieved more with Ajax in six years than Barcelona has in a hundred years. <laughs> I have the body of a god, lederhosen suit me, but I also have a belly. I'm never cold because I'm warm-blooded. My wife says so, we always sleep spooning. Well, I'm going to have to stay in green for this whole, <laughs> this whole video. So that's good. Um, sure. So what has he done with the Netherlands? Okay, well, it's worth noting, particularly at the moment, the Netherlands are a side that are absolutely stuffed full of exciting attacking young players. Mm. So you've got people like Yuri and Timber, you've got Matthias de Ligt, who will play possibly instead of Van Dijk sometimes, mm. Justin Bijlau, the new goalkeeper, uh, Tyrell Malasia, who sometimes plays at left back, uh, you've got Tim Kuperminas, who's a sensible transfers pick, who mm. plays in central midfield, defensive midfield. Donald Marlin, Cody Gakpo, Noah Lang, Sven Botman you've heard of. They're pretty lucky, aren't they? Owen Windell, Per Schurz, Calvin Stengs, Mohamed Itteren. And I mean, I just wrote all of these down because it's sure. basically like, this is a potentially golden generation of Dutch football. Yeah. And they're being managed by a guy who famously likes to do two things. One is trust youth. Uh -huh. One of the reasons for that is that when he got the Ajax job, Ajax had no money at all. So he had to bring through all of these exciting young players. Mm. If you want to find out about that IX team, go and watch our video. Not you, obviously, because you not will, me. I'm, you will have watched. I've seen it. Sure. Yeah. Um, the other thing is he he actually likes 
picking players that are based in the Eredivisie. So uh, okay. people like Bijlal, Timber, um, Gakpo. When Timber's Bogus. running down the uh, the wing, does oh, he? Here we go. Here's a joke. Everyone knows what I'm going to say, don't they? I don't. What if he gets fouled in the forest and no one's around? Does it count as a free kick? Or is oh that... no, no, that's not <laughs> right. what I was going to say. I was gonna... Mine was much more stupid than that. Sure, that was. I was going to shout when he's running down the wing. Does he shout timber? Oh right. But, okay. You know, um, even less good than yours. So as I said, when. Van Gaal managed the Netherlands last time. He had to go to this back five system because of Strootman. But mm. he's returned to his favoured 4-3-3. And this is the kind of quintessential Dutch thing, right? So you have these very advanced You've got two minutes, 22 here. seconds. Your centre-back split nice and wide. Mm. Van Dijk, best centre-back in the world. Sure. Probably. Yeah. Frankie de Jong, who we know about from Barcelona, who's a very exciting player, will then drop back here either to this spot here or uh -huh. maybe to the left here. Yeah. And he's the guy who brings the ball forwards, who starts these passing moves, spraying the ball around. Memphis I'm here. I'm just, just quickly a, just going to give you a little red for the brown colour you've chosen for your arrows right, there. Well, that is, it's very unpleasant, isn't it? Right. It's a brown okay. colour. Have a yellow colour instead. Thank you, I'll have How yellow. How do you feel about that? I prefer yellow. So Memphis is able to drop off here and play as a false nine. He likes moving into these half spaces. Mm. And what they're looking to do basically a lot of the time is overload in the wide areas. Um, they like playing quick vertical football. De Jong's coming forwards playing in players who are making these runs inside here. Memphis is dropping off and linking and <coughs> bursting forwards to get into the box. Basically, it's resulted in some in some excellent performances. Most recently, the 6-1 defeat of Turkey. Turkey, as mm. you know, decent side. So sure. they drew against well, Norway 1-all, but apart from we that... We thought they were. We thought they were. Can I ask a tactical question? Please. We've got the, the centre-back splitting wide, we've got De Jong dropping deep, we've yeah. got uh, a lot of lateral movement and, and interchanging up front, that's all really great. Yeah. How do they play with those massive arrows on the pitch, which you fucking deleted as I was <laughs> making my joke? Just carry on. Um, one of the other interesting things about this is that, no, well, you're giving yourself a red here, not me. <laughs> that's not for me. Um, is that there is still some kind of vulnerability here, right? So De Jong is not really that great as a single pivot. No. Wijnaldum and Klaassen do get forwards a lot here because they need to support these attacking runs. Klaassen particularly looking to get in the 25 box seconds. if Memphis is dropping off. So while this team is replete with attacking talent and Van Gaal is this kind of big figure in Dutch football and he's bringing through all of these exciting young mm. players, they're not a perfect team. So they can do cool and exciting things, but there's a fallibility there. Everyone loves the Dutch national team. Everyone wants to see a good Dutch side bringing through young players. And that's why you should care about do -do 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 -do. Netherlands. Oh yeah, okay, fine. I mean, do you? Uh, do I care about them? I'm going to go back to neutral to make my decision. I like Van Gaal. He seems like a funny guy, yeah. you know? I like his vibe. I'd like to go to the garden centre with him, you know what I'm saying? I feel like he'd be a good person to sort of walk around a bird sanctuary with. Right. Uh, do I care about the Netherlands? No. Okay. I don't. And I think the reason for that is because... you, Because I got rid of the arrows. Because you got rid of the arrows when I was trying to make that joke. You're punishing me. So we're going to have to end on a deep red here. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry, everyone. Can we not um, change it to an orange in honour of the Netherlands? Um... Yeah, all right. There you go. It's an orange. Uh, thanks for watching. Alex Stewart thanking you. No, thank you, Joe. And we'll be back again in the future, uh, no doubt, because Alex Stewart never runs out of things to um, to talk to me about, do you? <laughs> Lovely shirt, by the way. That's a good shirt. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Bye. Give the camera a wave. Bye. Bye, camera. <laughs> if you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. The Athletic brings you the best sports journalism in the world in a personalised experience, connecting you with the stories and teams that you care about the most. There's coverage of 13 sports, plus direct access to world-class journalists through live Q&As, discussions and podcasts. Not to mention, it's all ad-free. And you can try it now for free for 30 days by clicking the link in the description.